When carrying out a password audit, you'll find many people like to swap letters with symbols or add extra digits to the start or end of the password. Perhaps people are of the notion that it makes the password harder to guess, and indeed it does slightly, but when you understand how to deal with them, they're not actually that much harder to guess. Say you had the word password. Well, quite a common thing is to use leet speak, so you got the at for an A, a zero for an O, adding numbers to the end, toggling the case, so starting with lowercase, ending with uppercase in this instance. Yeah, there's a few different ways of messing around with a word. Happily, Hashcat can deal with all this, so in this video I'll be demonstrating how to carry out a hybrid attack to audit passwords. I'll start with attack mode 6, this is append. I'll tell Hashcat the type of hashes I'm dealing with, and you can get this information from the man page, so if you look down to here, hash types, and there you are, there's a list of hash types that you can use. M1000 is NTLM. I'll output the results to a file using dash o. You can see them appear on the right hand side. And now onto the hashes file. And then a word list. So I'll be using the English dictionary, a fairly chunky English dictionary, it's about 30 meg large. And now I can specify a certain mask to use, either typing in a literal word, word, or by using the mask set available in Hashcat. For example, question mark D is digit, so that'd be 0 to 9. Question mark S is symbol. Question mark L is lowercase. Question mark U is uppercase letters. Or question mark A is all of the above. Or you can specify a certain character set. For example, question mark 1. Or we can use question mark 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then I'll tell Hashcat what to use in the place of 1. So either using a literal letter, so lowercase a or uppercase a. Or using question mark D for digits. And question mark S for symbols. And that's it, let's go for it. And that'll take um, probably not much time at all. But you can see we found a couple of more passwords, city for explanation mark and town 88. In order to do a prepend attack, we switch to attack type seven, and then swap around the order of the word list and the mask. So I do like question mark A and then the word list. Uh, this won't take any time at all, but I know it won't find anything because I don't have any passwords looking like that. But uh, just a small example there, we have um, pipe and the word. Now let's look at rule-based attacks. And I'll go across to the websites to get a bit more information. So you can have certain rules you can write to switch around letters to words or, or add extra characters to the beginning or end. So there's quite a variety we can do. And I'll actually show you how to write these later on in the video. Yeah, it's just uh, to get an idea that these rules exist. And they can be processed by the graphics card, so it's actually quite a speed you can still get through auditing passwords. Not quite as good a speed as you'll get doing a straight word list, but it's potentially quicker than carrying out a brute force attack. Attack type 0 straight. To supply a rule, you can use the argument dash r, and you can use some of the rule sets provided by Hashcat. And then in user, share Hashcat and rules. Press tab and we get a list of them here. So let's take, um, let's just take toggles two dot rule. Now we'll toggle up to two letters to be uppercase. And then we specify a file of hashes and a word list. Yes, that may not actually find anything because I think my users have been more intelligent and added a few numbers or characters to the end. Happily, you can combine the rules. So I could add in the lead speak rule. Then I'll specify a custom rule to append two digits to the end of the word. Take the hashes file and then a word list. So I've got lead speak and adding a number. And this is going to take me all oh, six minutes. Ouch. That's a bit of an increase in time, isn't it? While Hashcat is running, I'll show you one of my favourite rule sets that I've found on the internet. One called the Hobo Rules, or the D3AD Hobo Zero Rule. And yes, I do know what that says, but uh, yes, we have to be careful what we say sometimes on YouTube. So it's quite a chunky rule set. Um, yeah, quite a lot of lines in this one. Yeah, 57,000 lines, so yeah, it gets a bit difficult to run this with other rules. Basically, you are yeah, I started having memory issues on my graphics card, but definitely worth running. 
I'll leave a link to this page in the video description. Okay, so it's finished up and I found a few more passwords. We'll take a look at custom rule sets now. So using a program called Mask Processor, which I've installed through the Ubuntu repositories, but if you're using something like Kali Linux, it will already be pre-installed. So the command to run it is mp64. And there's a few different options to use it. So I've got a list of the functions here on the right hand side. So we're going to specify mp64, an output file, and I'll be calling my file append2duc1.rule. So that's append two digits and uppercase first letter. Then single quote, and in this example, I'll be capitalizing the first letter and lowercase the rest of them. So that is lowercase c, space, dollar. Here it is, append character to end. And it is caret to append character to the beginning. Anyone familiar with regex will notice those two symbols there and understand the meaning of them. Caret at the beginning of the word, dollar at the end of the word. So if I want to apply any digit, I will literally type question mark D. The masks are exactly the same as Hashcat uses. If you've got like question mark one, and then be able to do dash one, question mark D, question mark S. For example, that would be digits and symbols. You'll notice there's only one digit here, and that's because I like to do one and two in one go. So I'll keep the same file name and it just appends it to the end of the file. Taking a look at the file, so you can see it has $0.09 and then $0.00 all the way down to $9.9. $9. If you want to do three, four, five, or even six digits, change your mask as necessary. And to show the rule in use, well, let's get rid of some of these so, since I don't need the toggle rule anymore. So append 2D, you see one rule, the demo file and English dictionary. So, oh, I think it's finished already. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I didn't actually get anything because, well, to be honest, it would have picked up Quicksilver, but I already had that earlier. But that can be quite useful if you're running through a massive word list. And to finish up with that hobo rule, I think this one's going to take a bit too long, but oh, look, you can see some results already. That's more like if a devastation of a hybrid password audit. So that was a look at how to do a hybrid password audit in Hashcat. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.